welcome back. We're going to do some dividing three digit numbers by one digit numbers using two different methods, part whole and partition methods via the math store. In the past we've used a visual method to show um, our division using counters. Um, but this time we're going to use two different methods just with the numbers um, the first one is going to be part whole method which is where we take our original number the 124 and we partition it into its hundreds and its 24 so that we can divide it by 4 easily. So we're going to divide both of these numbers by 4 and if you know your 4's really well you can do this. So if you know that 100 divided by 4 is 25 then you've divided easily the hundreds part of the dividend. If you know that 24 divided by 4 is 6 you've divided the 24 part of the dividend. All you've got to do now is add those two together, 25 plus 6, and you get 31. And that is our answer. So that's one way to show the answer. The next way is by partitioning and using what we know of our times tables. So we have 124 again at the top, same number, the divisor is still 4, and we're going to split it into all three of its sections this time. So we're going to go into 100, 20, and 4, the 100s, 10s, and 1s. Now we know that the divisor is 4, so we can use our knowledge of times tables and division to help us to solve this easily. Because you might not know that 100 divided by 4 is 25, but you might be able to do 100 divided by 2, or half of 100. And we know that 2 times 2 is 4, so dividing by 2 and then dividing by 2 again is the same as dividing by 4. I'm just going to show you that technique. So we go to divide by 2. 100 divided by 2 is 50. 20 divided by 2 is 10, and 4 divided by 2 is 2. We've only divided by 2 so far, we need to divide by 4, so we've got to divide by 2 again. So we're just going to do exactly the same thing again. 50 divided by 2 is 25. 10 divided by 2 is 5, and 2 divided by 2 is 1. And then again we add our answers together and we get the answer 25 plus 5 is 30 plus 1 is 31. And we've got the same quotient here as we have here. There are no remainders in this one. So it's another representation of division just using the numbers. Thank you for listening. Have a go yourself.